This is the Masterpiece Chris Masters, and you're listening to Talk to Impact Radio Live. It was a little different. Yeah, well, I mean, it was a good match and everything. You know, but uh, anyway, I, I hope I don't cry and everything like that. I know that, you know, you um, were a fellow sort of wellness policy the WWE we had about, you know, your um, whole steroids and everything like that. And when you came back, you know, it just seemed, seemed to me that the only reason why you came back the way you did just to be like a punchline to Shawn Michaels and uh, Triple H, you know, just to me, was that, I mean, the thing that felt like, you know, then part of you want to say, hey, you shouldn't be throwing stones, man, because, I mean, where well, you've been looking, you know, I mean, I mean, yeah, but it, it, I, of course I did. You know, what I mean, of course, of course, part of me did because you know, part of part of me is like, well, you know, take off your shirt. You know, who are you to talk? <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. at the same time, you know, those guys, uh, you know, that was at a point where I was, you know, like I had made some mistakes, and I was pretty much kind of like I was going through my own personal stuff at that point. So I was really kind of numb, numb to a lot of that stuff, and. Really, those guys, those guys actually, uh, when I first broke in, really kind of took me under the wing and really helped me out, and I got to work a lot with, uh, like, teaming up with Hunter against Sean and Ric Flair and stuff like that. So, I mean, I don't really have a, I mean, either there was there was obviously a couple things there, like, you know, that have been brought up uh, time and time again, like the, the book one, like, you know, the 40 pounds in four weeks and all that stuff. But, I mean, uh, it is what it is, and, you know, what's done is done, and, I mean, it's not really a, it's not something I'm sweating now or, you know, I'm, I mean, that was, what, a couple, a year and a half to two years ago now at this point. I mean, yeah, I mean, how are you, um, on that? are you, are you uh, past your demons and stuff that, you know, because the wrestling industry right now is pretty much in very bad shape and the deaths and all this other stuff, you know, I want to, you know, how are you feeling as a young guy yourself and, you know, how are you feeling, you know, you know. How do I feel are you, about are you past your demons? Fitness? Huh? How do I feel about what the wrestling business? I don't know. I mean, how are you feeling, like you know, mentally and physically? You, you know, how are you doing? You know. Oh you? me? Well, actually, I feel great. I mean, uh, I've had time to heal, though. You know, like um, that's the thing. When you're bumping constantly in that ring, people don't, uh, a lot of people don't understand. I think a lot of the fans who are listening right now might understand a bit better because probably chances are, you know, most of the fans listening are probably diehard wrestling fans and they know kind of uh, how much we're on the road and stuff. Some people don't understand. Uh, how much traveling we're doing on top of uh, bumping in that ring, which is still pretty stiff when you're doing it every single night and some of the bumps that you do take. And then uh, not just that, but also even just working out and, you know, like I said, just the traveling and all that, the combination of all that, it beats you up. I mean, it starts really, uh, I mean, that's why, you know, vacation is definitely called for uh, after a certain while because as you've seen time and time again, guys will break down. I mean, guys will break down or guys will... uh, I mean, they'll just they'll lose their drive or they won't care. I mean, we've, we've seen it. Do I need to mention names? We've seen it time and time again. Guys will break down and they'll just lose it. Yeah, um, just, you know. And uh, what do you think of the wellness policy that WWE has? I mean, is it good? Is it bad? Is, you know, when well, you were course, there? Of course it's good. I mean, I know uh, it's good, but I'm saying because to me it's just, you know, I just look at it. I'm like, you know, I see, like, so many loopholes. It's not even, not even funny. It's just, you know. I mean, it's like it's good on paper, but I mean, they could do so much more and so much better with it. Because you know, I, no offense, but you know, I just feel like thirty days just for one story. It seems a little weak, in my opinion. When you see the NFL or baseball now or the NBA, like you take you out for like for a year or half a year, you know, to me it's just very light. It had, I mean, just sort of like you know, very light handed, you know, just very light handed, you know, the whole thirty days, you know, that's just me. Oh, like as far as the WWE's, uh, their punishments and all their yeah, consequences. You know. Well, I mean, uh, that's why if you look at me as kind of an example, like, uh, you know, and I'm not, you know, I might, you know, I'm, obviously there's going to be probably a lot more. It's just an example of uh, how strict things are and how, you know, just basically they're stepping up because of the pressure. I mean, if you look at the time sequence and everything that happened, Vince was on uh, CNN on Tuesday night. And they were asking him that same question about leniency and playing favoritism and all that. And it was the next day that, you know, I ended up uh, getting released. So, I mean, they're definitely proving a point. I mean, they got to, Vince has to protect his company. And, you know, they just, uh, it's not like the wellness policy was ever corrupt or anything like that. Like everybody wants to blow it out to be. It's just uh, a matter of it's been tweaked down the line, obviously, a few times now. 
as far as what's acceptable and what's not acceptable because it's hard to do something like that, implement something like that overnight when you have guys who have uh, become either dependent on certain things or whatnot. I mean, it's just it's a process. It's not as it's not as clear cut or cut and dry as everybody thinks. Oh well, you know, nothing is anyway. But you know, and uh, one more thing, <laughs> I feel like I'm just you know dragging on, you know. But one more thing, um, you went to Raw and SmackDown. How was the um backstage, man? Is it different from Raw and SmackDown? Is it? Because I mean, Booker uh, T, you know, said he loved the SmackDown locker room because there was little to no politics. And he went to Raw, he hated it. He was just down with politics or whatever. I mean, you were on Raw for a pretty long time. Did you see any politics and? Well, you know what, you know what, I mean, I talked to Booker around that whole time, too, and uh, that's why, uh, you know, he's a, he's a really cool guy, too, and the thing is, uh, when I went to SmackDown, one thing that I guess I noticed, um, you know, I was kind of spoon-fed on Raw from the from the very start, as much as, like, we can talk about, you know, after, you know, after my two-month suspension or, or whatever, it's just like, you know, I was kind of spoon-fed from the beginning, and I had all the right people around me, and I was, uh, you know, also, you know, I made opportunities for myself, but, uh, at the same time, you know, I had all those guys helping me, which was cool. But then when it came around to the flip side when I was down and, you know, like, you know, I wasn't doing as much, SmackDown was kind of like uh, a breath of fresh air because it gave it was a chance for growth and it was also a chance for, well, not necessarily a chance, but what I noticed actually going up there is it just felt, it felt like a team. It felt like it did feel kind of unified over there, like there was nobody, I mean, Undertaker is the law and then there was everybody else, you know, which isn't, that's say the case. There's a lot of locker room leaders, obviously, in there and stuff. But you know, if I was just basing it off of uh, you know the last tour I went on and stuff, it was just uh, you know you kind of you kind of saw where you stood and just the way uh, you know everybody's contributing. It's a team. It's a team effort. No different from you know the, the way the LA Lakers are a team or anybody else. <laughs> 